Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in and checking out my latest video. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about a highly underrated trainer named Dewey Cooper. So for those of you who are not familiar with Dewey Cooper, this is a guy uh, best known for his work currently with Jesse Vargas, but he's been around the sport of boxing. Very unique background. I kind of want to get into that in this video. And also, I want to talk about some things that I believe he's helped improve Jesse Vargas skill-wise, and what makes him unique as a trainer. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now, when talking about Dewey Cooper, this is a guy who not only was a former kickboxer, but also a boxer as well. So this is a guy with a very unique background. A lot of guys in boxing, they're strictly boxing, but he comes from uh, a martial arts background, along with being mentored by Jeff Mayweather in boxing. So this is a guy who's learned from some very, very good high-level um, technicians. Now, when I look at some of the fighters that Dewey Cooper has worked with, you look at guys like, for example, you can see training online with him, uh, Devin Haney at times, uh, coming in doing some mitt work. Um, you look at guys like Babu Chumanev, who he's worked with. Jessica Ricosi, she was a former boxing champion. Uh, she's out of Canada. You also look at, um, he's working with some Uzbekistan fighters. Um, those guys, if you watch Olympics, very, very high quality amateur fighters. And of course, right now you see him working with Jesse Vargas. Now, to me, when I look at Jesse Vargas as a fighter, um, I definitely did not think he was getting uh, enough necessary time with his former trainers. He was going through a lot of trainers, and there didn't really seem to be uh, a very like good connection and understanding between the trainers. There was no really understanding of the fighter, what he brings to the table. There wasn't a bond between the fighter and trainer that I feel you really need to excel in the sport of boxing. Now, with you look at Dewey Cooper, this is a guy who's known Jesse Vargas since he was a kid. And you see them work out, they're having fun, but yet they're doing very serious work and they're still working on uh, tactical skills. But when I look at Vargas right away, some of the improvements that I saw with Dewey Cooper in his corner, was Vargas, not only skill-wise, but I feel that he's definitely more prepared for these fights than in the past, and he's getting the proper amount of attention he needs. Um, I look at the combination punching of Jesse Vargas as something that's definitely Dewey Cooper's brought back. I also look at Vargas's huge right hand. Um, that's a legitimate power punch for him, and a punch that he can definitely knock somebody out with. And going into that Saddam Ali fight, a lot of people were picking Ali to win that fight. They said... You know, he's a better technical boxer than Vargas. They they weren't impressed with some of Vargas's performances before that. But Dewey Cooper really made him look really good in that fight. He was down in that fight, but that was part of their game plan. And he set Saddam Ali up with that huge right hand that he developed with Dewey Cooper and ended up stopping uh, Saddam Ali late in that fight. So I was really impressed by the transformation of Vargas in such a short time working with Dewey Cooper. And I asked King Mo, MMA fighter, for those of you guys who are not familiar with him, what makes Dewey Cooper a really good trainer? And he said, well, Dewey Cooper's fought against some very good pro boxers. He's fired uh, very good boxers in the past and kickboxers. And he's a guy who's a student of the game, and he really, really works incredibly hard. And that's what makes him, in his opinion, such a very good trainer. And ultimately... I believe uh, Dewey Cooper is going to start working with a lot of different fighters. I really like his mindset. He's very positive. He's got very good drills. You see a lot of the body work and uh, things like that that he works on when you're watching him hit pads. He's also a lot of activity. He really pushes these guys. Um, I know one thing is also in the condition aspect of the game, um, something that I notice is sometimes when fighters are training for fights, you'll see, uh, for example, like when Pacquiao is there, no knock on Pacquiao, great fighter. Um, when Pacquiao's training, sometimes he's leading the head of the line and they're kind of going at his pace of running. And when you look at like Jesse Vargas, for example, I've heard Dewey Cooper say he's bringing in all his top level fighters and they're really pushing him. They're not letting him set the pace. They're really running at a high level and he's having guys all around him that are pushing Vargas to be the best, very best fighter that he can be. Um, so that's something that definitely I think has helped the game of Jesse Vargas. and. These two guys, very interesting at this point in their career. You look at Dewey Cooper coming back in the picture with Jesse Vargas, even though they've been friends uh, and had a great amount of respect for each other for a number of years. You look at Dewey Cooper coming in the picture, helping Jesse Vargas get his title. 
And now they're up against Manny Pacquiao. Ultimately, a very difficult challenge. Let's see how this fight plays out. But definitely Dewey Cooper, highly underrated trainer. Um, hopefully, some people start to recognize him and give him some appreciation in the sport of boxing. So let me know what you guys think of this video, guys. This is definitely a series. I kind of wanted to see what you guys feel it out, see if you like it, and you'd like to see some videos in the future. So let me know what you guys think. And once again, much respect to Jesse Vargas, always taking on the challenges. He, that's what we need in the sport of boxing. Dewey Cooper, love his mindset. Uh, great respect for martial arts and boxing and very positive attitude. Very good at breaking down fights. Extremely knowledgeable, really studies the craft and has learned from Jeff Mayweather. Um, so you know he's teaching fighters good fundamental skills. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning into the video. Appreciate it. Thank you.